welcome back to the crochet crowd as well as yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today I'm going to show you how to hold the yarn that leads to the ball in your hands. So, so what I want to do is that I want to get the yarn and I want to weave it through my fingers here. So my ball is on the right hand side. If this is the left hand side it'll appear on the left and what's gonna happen here is that the yarn is gonna be feeding through my hands and it's gonna be providing tension so that I have access to the yarn at all times. You will be faster with this. I know I am and again this is my own personal statement. It's all up to you. So like it's high tea you wanna put your pinky in the air. So think about a cup of uh, cup of tea. You got your pinky in the air. You're, you're having uh, tea with the queen. What I want you to do is use that finger and I want you to get close to the knitting needle here and I want you just to grab onto it like so. So just put it over top and I want you just to circle your pinky around once. I'm gonna show this several times. Okay. So see how close I am to the knitting needle? I want to do that so that I'm providing tension by the time I get through my hand. Now what I want to do is get my second finger up here and I wanna put it behind that finger and now I wanna get my driving finger, okay, my middle finger and I wanna go in behind it, okay? And now I want to grab my pointer finger and be in front of it like this, okay? And eventually what I'm gonna do is that I'm just going to move everything to my proper tension and what's gonna happen is that I can use this finger now to circle around the tip just like this. Okay, so let's try that again. So you're having uh, Tay with the Queen of England and you're gonna get your pinky. You are going to circle around your pinky once. Okay, now you're gonna put your second finger in the, and so it's in, uh, the yarn is now behind it. You are now going to put your middle finger out and your middle finger will be, uh, uh, the yarn will be in front of it and now you're gonna put your pointer finger and that will be in front of the yarn like that. And then you adjust and then all the tension will be applying. So you can add extra tension here by uh, closing your fingers and by using your pointer finger just like so. So let me show you again. So you're going to just have high T with the queen. You're going to circle around just once, okay? Put your second finger out, let the yarn go behind. Put your middle finger out, the yarn will be in front and put your pointer finger and it will be in the back like so. Okay, let me show you again. This is all about how to hold your yarn. So having high T with the, uh, the Queen of England, wrap once, okay? Second finger is in front of the yarn. Middle finger is in, okay, is in and then your pointer. So high T and then just weave. Okay, do you get it? Takes a bit of getting used to. So now what's gonna happen is that the tension is going to be through your fingers. So it's not only gonna have to wrap around your pinky once, it's gonna have to squeeze through your fingers here and you'll have a nice tension. So let me put the knitting needle back of my hand here and we're going to knit using this method. Okay, so when we go to use this is that this finger here will have tension and this takes a bit of getting used to. So I'm gonna wrap Okay, and it's almost like crochet in a sense that the yarn is up and ready for me and when I need more, see it just slides and it's pulling through my fingers as I knit. This to me is quicker than having to rest my hands on the hook or sorry on the knitting needle and being able to wrap. So if I'm using the word hook at all I just think I might be. It's just cause I do crochet so often. So I'm going through like so and I'm using my fingers to kind of push, okay? So this is how to hold your yarn. Um, this is the way that it took me a bit of getting used to. So my biggest thing for you is that you're gonna try this and it is gonna fall out of your fingers right at the base here, okay? I have to tell you I'm on day number uh, five now after day number three it was no longer falling out of my fingers. I think it's because I finally just relaxed and I actually just came to a conclusion. I was watching TV and I'm like 
wow I just crocheted for like an hour sorry I just knit for like an hour and it didn't fall out. And so what it is it's all the tension and it's the fear of it falling out of your fingers that probably makes it fall out. So it's just a matter of you'll find your tension you will find where to put that ball that is off camera here. So if it's on the right uh, hand side there like it is for me because I'm right handed it will not fall out of your hands because the yarn is not uh, being pushed in a way that is going to be coming out the tips of your fingers. So that is how to hold your yarn and uh, it's a really quite a, a neat way to do it and for myself I can really speed up and do it this way without having to reset like my mom showed me. Her way was not wrong. It's just this way I think is better for my own personal choice at this time. So if I go back to the way my mom did it just uh, quickly review that. You see the difference? I like the idea of the other way better. So it's just a matter of getting uh, what you have to. So Queen of England just wrap rinse, weave through your fingers. Oops, maybe I should put it my hook in or my knitting needle in first. And you're good to go. So that's today on how to hold your knitting needles and your yarn. Join me next time. It's Mikey on behalf of the Yarn Inspirations as well as the crochetcrowd.com. This is the Let's Knit series, a special edition. Till then, have a great day. See ya.